Hey everybody, uh, hope you guys are in the mood for some cooking, cause I am, I'm about to jump in the kitchen. And we're gonna make, let's see, we're gonna do a seafood paella, a biscuit chicken uh, pot pie, which I saw on Pinterest, cause I was looking at like ways to do things differently. So, let's get started. On a side note, um, if anyone wants the recipes, I've had quite a few people like message me. I am more than happy to share the way I do this stuff. I know on the story it's kind of like pieces and fragmented, but if you direct message us, we uh, will send you an email. But we're in the midst of actually putting a tab on chefcoviscatering.com that will link up with our YouTube and our Instagram story so you guys can kind of see what we're doing and all of our different recipes that we'll be posting. Chicken pot pie, you can have a million different recipes. Your grandma, your mama might have done it a different way. I do it this way. I don't use chicken breast because chicken <laughs> breast is dry. I use chicken thighs because they are dark meat and much more flavor. So in this bowl, I'm already doing all the prep. My husband's being inappropriate <laughs> as he films. Uh, in this bowl, I have the onion, celery, and carrots. I have some fresh parsley. So I did around eight chicken thighs, and I'm going to just rough dice them just to this size. Ooh, geez. Around, around that size, we're going to get it in a bowl. I got my big pot wash. I'm going to start a roux with butter and saute my carrots, celery, and onion down. Now me, it's all in the prep, so let's get ready to make some chicken pot pie. So instead of a pie crust, we are going to use the biscuits. We got our fresh parsley, the powder, um, powder, the flour for the roux, butter, garlic, onion, celery, and carrots, and our chicken thighs dice up. And sometimes chicken pot pie has boiled potatoes, or but I roast my potatoes because roasted potatoes have so much more flavor. So I'm going to get these in the oven and get my pot hot, and let's get cooking this chicken pot pie. Okay, so back a little bit. Let's get our butter because everything is better with butter. Get our butter in and we're going to start sweating our veg. Then we're going to add a flour, build the roux and what I did over here was ooh, chicken stock. I'm having it warm so when it goes into our pot it's not cold and it just it keeps the cooking process going and going and going. Butter is melted and actually I let it brown just a little bit to get that nutty flavor. We got our onions, carrots, celery, and garlic. Boom! We're gonna sweat these out. I also, like I said, had my chicken stock here heating up. Once this gets sweated out, I'm gonna add my flour. Um, but, like I said, the nutty flavor just helps develop and you can also do that with the roux. We're gonna let it cook to be like a nice brown consistency before we start ladling our stock in. Just added the flour, and we're going to stir this around so the flour is all encompassed with the butter that was melted and the veggies. And then I'm going to get the hot chicken stock, and I have some milk to start building our sauce before we add the chicken. I'm also going to season my chicken with salt and pepper. Okay, added the stock, and I added the milk, and we're just whisking it to break down all the roux so it all comes together. We're gonna get this to a simmer, and I have the chicken thighs already diced up in a bowl, seasoned with salt and pepper. I'm gonna put them in here and, and cover it and let it simmer. Chicken pot pie. Now, we don't put peas in ours. Uh, my kids won't eat it if I put peas in it, nor would my husband. So, I got, look at that, delicious. The chicken's in there, it's cooked, and I pulled out of the oven our roasted potatoes. See how pretty? I used the little creamer potatoes and we're just gonna put them right in. And because we're smart and we've learned, we just use the Reynolds wrap with a clean sheet pan. So that's two seconds later. I'm going to mix this all together. It has come together so beautiful. Season it with a little salt and pepper and we're gonna move over to the island so you can watch me do the biscuits and fill our casserole dishes with it. Casserole dish, sprayed. I took the Grand's biscuits and I opened them out and we got our chicken pot pie filling. I'm gonna ladle it into here. And the reason I sprayed it, just to play it safe, I hate cleanup. I looked at this recipe on Pinterest. Now the recipe itself, this is me, but the idea of the biscuits was great because I'm not a big like pie shell person. And as you've seen, my baking skills are okay, nothing that great. I love the idea, and I actually bought the honey ones, so 
put in the dish. I'm gonna do a little pepper. I already checked the salt flavor, which was right on point. And you're gonna take the biscuits and just set them on top. They're gonna expand when they bake. And the extra, I'm gonna make another one. I actually have one more package of biscuits, so we're gonna make two. Oh my goodness. You, listen, we talk about this every freaking time. smell vision This is ridiculous. I can't, this idea was awesome. Look at that. Look at those chicken pot pies with the crescent rolls on top. Biscuits, a whole nother little take. And the thighs, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's gonna beat any chicken breast any day. Let's take these out and let them rest. Let's talk about the next thing we're gonna make. We are gonna do, I don't wanna call it a paella because then I'll have people like writing in saying there was no sausage, should he use sewer chicken in there? We're gonna call this Chef Covis seafood rice. I wanna keep it for the pescatarians. Um, normally, don't get me wrong, I would load it up with some sausage, like should he sue and bacon to start off browning up my onions and celery and carrots and stuff. But we're not. We're gonna use a little bit of butter, a little bit of olive oil. I'm going, you can watch the whole process. I'll film the whole entire thing. But I just kinda wanna touch base. We're gonna do my version of a seafood rice, saffron seafood rice. I'll show you the saffron I bought. It's affordable, it's in every grocery store. This is a great thing for entertaining because you can make a big pot um, as long as you have seafood. People who like seafood. It's all in the prep, so onions, garlic, celery, and carrots. We have our rice. I like to rinse our rice, and I give it a quick rinse, and I put it in a strainer and put it in a bowl. Just sometimes there's rocks. We got parsley, some scallions. We're gonna put some diced tomatoes. I got my shrimp, 16 by 20, peeled into vein. Take the tails off. My nice big scallops, and underneath the scallops actually is my calamari that I cut up. And then my clams. I'm cleaning them with a little bit of salt water so that they could spit the sand out. We're gonna use um, white wine in it, and I mean, it doesn't hurt that I was having a glass of it. And this is a little sasaun. And here's our saffron. It's ready for that sizzle. Oh yeah. Tomatoes were added, white wine, and we're gonna get this simmering. Let's take a sneak peek, I just popped the lid off. So we have added the rice, the tomato, the herbs, the stock, we're gonna give this a nice stir. Now this is the time where you wanna take a spoon, pull out the broth, taste it, and season it up at a time. And I don't want the rice to be dry, so I want it to kind of pull a little bit of liquid from the broth before we add our seafood. I added our saffron, which that's the whole difference. You can make this without saffron. Like if you go to a big banquet hall, they'll use like turmeric just to give that color. Saffron, that sweet flavor, that's what you're looking for. So, if you look in here, rice is cooking, nice broth, our veggies are nice and soft, and now we add all seafood. So, shrimp go on in, our scallops and calamari. oh yeah. And last but not least, I just did them with a brush and washed them all, is our clams. Now, any clams that don't open, don't eat unless you want to kiss the porcelain god. So we're going to add these right in. I'm going to put the lid on. I use the brush. Nice, nice stir. Get this all encompassed. I already seasoned my salt and pepper up. It is perfect. So before we have a fail, because not every time I cook is perfect, the clams weren't opening, so I pulled them out with the tongs because the scallops and the shrimp were cooking so much faster. So I am steaming out the clams. Garlic, olive oil, butter, ba-bam. And here, oh, you wish you could smell that. 